Welcome again. In this session, we are reading Luke chapter 22, verses 7 through 13. Jesus eats the Passover meal. Let's start at verse 7. The day of unleavened bread came, on which the Passover must be sacrificed. Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare the Passover for us that we may eat. By the way, I always say this, and I, you know, for those of you who are new listening to these teachings, Peter, James, and John were the closest ones to Jesus. And we, you know, we know that out of the three, out of those three, John was the closest. So we have, we have the general public. We have the 12 disciples, which were, you know, of course, they were very close to Jesus. But out of the 12, there was the inner circle, Peter, James, and John. And out in, in that inner circle, there was the one that was the closest to Jesus. You might say Jesus' best friend. That was John. Now, John in, um, you know, today's English uh, is a long history of how this word came about, John. You know, but uh, in the original Hebrew, uh, there is no J sound. You know, it's not, we don't have any, there, there is no Hebrew uh, letter that makes the sound J, okay? So John, to make a long story short, comes from a Hebrew word, Yochanan or Yahukanan, okay? And Peter uh, is a word uh, that's transliterated out of the Greek Petra, uh, which means rock, okay? Uh, we know that uh, Peter's other name was Kepha, or, you know, Cephas or Kepha. And so uh, it's very important to note that Peter, James, and John was the closest ones to Jesus, okay? So if you were to read anything about Jesus, uh, start with the letters of Peter, James, and John. Start with what they said about Jesus, okay? They know better than anybody. And you know, out of the three, like I, said, uh, like I said before, John was the one that was the best friend of Jesus. He would know better than anybody. Peter and James would be second to that, and then the other nine would be uh, after that. Jesus here in verse 8 sent Peter and John saying, go and prepare the Passover for us that we may eat. Some people argue that Jesus did not eat the Passover. Now, why would Jesus specifically tell Peter and John to go and prepare the Passover for us that we may eat, as he said, if he wasn't going to eat the Passover? He could have said, I mean, if 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 Jesus did not eat the Passover, if he, you know, if the circumstances were that year that he could not eat the Passover or did not eat the Passover, then don't you think he would have said to Peter and James and all the rest of the disciples, say, okay, listen, 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 guys, you know, this year is different. Uh, this year, I'm not going to get around to eating the Passover. So don't even, don't even, don't even worry about preparing for the Passover this year because it's just not going to happen this year. But that's not what he said. He said, go and prepare the Passover for us that we may eat. Let's read on. Verse 9. They said to him, where do you want us to prepare? He said to them, behold, in other words, look or, you know, look at this, take notice. When you have entered into the city, a man carrying a pitcher of water will meet you. Follow him into the house which he enters. Tell the master of the house, the teacher says to you, or the rabbi, uh, in the original, that'll be the rabbi says to you, where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large unfurnished upper room. Make preparations there. They went, found things as Jesus had told them, and they prepared the Passover. So here's the point of this whole passage that we're reading today. So Jesus made it very clear that he is going to eat the Passover. He sent his disciples to prepare for the Passover. And so, again, because there is a, there's an argument among some Christians um, that Jesus didn't eat the Passover, 
um, you know, rather he had some other kind of meal or something like that. Uh, that argument doesn't hold water uh, because Jesus said very clearly, I'm going to eat the Passover. You know, Jesus said very clearly that, uh, that he's going to go to the guest room. You know, where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? If Jesus wasn't going to eat the Passover, he would say it clearly. Listen, guys, we're not going to eat the Passover this year. It's going to be different this year. But that's not what he said. He said he was going to eat the Passover. Not only, not only that, but he sent his disciples to prepare. Do you think Jesus didn't know? Do you think Jesus was ignorant of what was going to happen? I think not. So we have evidence here that Jesus was going to eat the Passover. He had in mind to eat the Passover. This is what they were preparing for, the Passover, no other meal. So as you go again, you think about the scriptures that we're reading. Think about the passages that we're reading. Meditate upon them as you go your way. And may God show you great and mighty things, enlighten the eyes of your understanding, and give you revelation spiritual revelation and understanding beyond that of all your peers. In the name of Yeshua, thank you.